welcome to today's episode of Erica and her mom. We are super excited. We just got our box. Uh, my mom got hers yesterday. I got mine today from Love Haolam, and I came over here first thing so that we could get this opened. Um, and I saw that it says fragile on the side, which is super exciting. I also got um, the few things that I always recommend for opening a box, um, scissors, a knife, a spoon, because usually there's really good stuff in there to eat, and a napkin because uh, we get it all over our lips when we're eating stuff like honey and um, chocolate sauce. So it's extra exciting today because uh, my five-year-old was shaking the box and you can hear something. So it mm. might be olive oil, might be wine. You can hear something. How exciting. Um, I'll be right back. You can no do, problem. The, do the plastic. I will. So uh, really tight plastic on it. Again, when my five-year-old got a hold of it, before I could, it was at the doorstep and he was trying to open it again, but I didn't let him so that you guys could see all the excitement when we open this puppy. So we are gonna open this up. The box isn't super heavy. Let's see if it says, it doesn't have a weight on here. Sometimes it will have a Wait. Here is your knife. Thank you very much. You know, when I got my box a couple days ago, I thought I was picking it up with one hand because I I was actually making a video of a topiary. Anyway, um, it felt really heavy. I thought, wow, well, what's in one here? One hand it would be. Yeah, and then I did it with two hands and it wasn't as heavy anymore. But that was that was great. Um, I think this is before we get into this box. I think it's important to point this out. There's so much going on in the Middle East, and um, you know, right now, um, there's an awful lot going. Well, as you know, there's a lot going on in Ukraine, mm -hmm. and um, that is right on Israel's doorstep. So this is a very good time. If you want to support the people of Israel, this is a great time, always, but, um, you know, because yeah, we, don't, yeah. we don't know what they're facing. We don't know, you know, if their airports are going to be closed and they won't be able to do shipping. Um, so, yeah, help them while you can. Okay. Let's yeah, see. I think that's really interesting that you bring that because, you know, when you're talking about supporting the Ukraine and different things, like there's there's yes. other people that can support them, and you exactly it's it's a, just a chain reaction. That's right. That's yeah. right. And we know that there are a lot of um, Jewish people still in the Ukraine and Russia that need to come back, and um, Israel just oh, has no. a lot to take care of. Hineni, prior to opening this month's gifts. Please take the time to go deeper into the words and thoughts written on each one. Uh, this one's going to be a thinker again. Ooh. This is going to be a thinker. He and Amy. All right. Um, so nice does, tissue paper. does that mean we have to stop and think, think about? Ooh, look at And it's written on each one of these boxes. Oh, it is. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put this up for you guys so you can see what we're seeing. Yes. Oh, the box smells good this month. Which one of these do you want to open first? Uh, so the first thing I opened up, Hineni, here I am. Um, and it looks like little biscuits. Um, Herbie's Bake Shop began in Tennessee where Herbie began baking on the side to earn some dough while studying in law school. After practicing law for a while, Herbie realized that he liked baking better than law. Hmm. So he opened a bakery in Bethel Street in Memphis. Eventually, Herbie and his family moved to the Holy Land 
where he reopened his bake shop. This time it was in the real Bethel, um, biblical Bethel in Samaria. Exciting. our little biscuits super exciting handmade with love spelt flour melon biscotti mmm I always love a good biscotti do you know what is so exciting about Hineni the word Hineni I'm trying to think of a million things, but no. Oh, let me tell you. So when, <laughs> when Samuel the prophet uh, lived with Eli, he would, um, you know, go to sleep and everything. So he was a good boy. He went to sleep. And one night he heard someone calling him. So he went to Eli, Ellie, and said, here I am. What do you want? And he said, I don't want anything. Go back to bed. So he went back to bed and he heard it again. Or Eli instructed him, the next time you hear it, answer back. It's God, God is calling you. Oh. And so he went back. Wait, this is Eli and who? Samuel. Samuel. Oh. Shmuel and Ellie. There you go. Shmuel and Ellie. So... He heard, he heard it again. Someone was calling him. And then um, he, he did the right thing. Under the instruction of the master, he said, Here am I, Lord. And so that's he named me. So when you feel that prompting of the Lord calling you, then your answer is he named me. Yeah. You're ready to go. Whatever, you know, rock and you roll. Are ready in season. That was fantastic. And now, and now. You could really taste the melon, and it had like a little bit of sugar on top of them. Really? Yes. Yum, yum. All right. Okay, so the simple, let's, let's go this way. It says, the first box just says Hineni, and that's the biscotti. Then the next box says the simplest meaning of Hineni is here I am. Oh, so, it's not a box. Oh, it's just a cover. It's just a cover to the box. Okay. Oh, that's wonderful. Sigh. All these beautiful things you could frame Gorgeous. and use in your home. So, whoa, what do, what do we have here? Creamy cubes of dark chocolate and hazelnut. Oh, man. That's so good. I bet it will be. Do you remember last month we got our box and we got Ooh. dates? Ooh. We got date. My, so were, were they my no. dates? We got dates because we Oh had, yeah, I ate those real quick. We had a Purim party for my for my portion of it. At our Purim party, we put them out and everybody enjoyed them so much and they were so fresh and delicious. And um, we also had those little little Smell that. Ooh. <laughs> that's the real thing. That smells wonderful. Ooh, it's off. Oh, it's like a truffle. It looks like a truffle. Mm. No, it's like fudge. Really? That. A fudgy truffle? That looks really good. Oh, that looks good. The, yeah. It's really rich. I can smell I can smell it from here. It smells great. So there were two more boxes within that box. Um, and this one says he named I love it. You can it's feel fantastic. it when it touches you. Mmm. Mm. Wow. Wow. So let's see. Oh my. Oh, it's a beautiful bracelet. And in Hebrew, it says Hineni. So can you imagine if, if you're wearing a bracelet that says Hineni, that it's almost like you're constantly in the service of God. So there's a little note card in it, and in it it says, I bless you, the wearer of this bracelet, that each time you place this on the, your wrist, you will feel a connection with the word Hineni and to the values it represents for you. How beautiful. Thank you so much uh, for adding that in the box. That is beautiful. I love it. Wonderful. 
Yay. And who doesn't like jewelry? Oh, the, the second part. Is that what? Yeah, so this was also in that. Something sweet from Jerusalem. And it, this one says you can feel it when it touches you. So that's the, that's one more meeting. Oh, yum. Oh, coffee pecans. <gasps> you don't like that. You only eat meat. Give me that. I know. <laughs> oh, that's how long. What are you doing to me? I love you. Thank you. Oh, my gosh. Oh, coffee pecans. Mm, smell that. Oh. Oh. Oh, baby. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if you can see that. Mm. It has, like, chocolate. I think that's chocolate. Chocolate powder. Yeah. Mm -mm. No? Oh, this is like coffee powder. Oh my gosh. This is really good. Mm, and they cooked the pecans in it. I'm like torn. they roasted them. I'm torn between being a carnivore and and eating this right. I will I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna save I'm gonna save it. No no. Um yeah. This like lick mine. I'm not gonna lick it. Just lick I it. I won't, I won't. I won't eat the rest of it. I won't lick it. Oh, man. I'll lick your fingers. <laughs> that is incredible. So, um, is maybe, maybe it's kosher for Passover. I don't know. Well, it may not be kosher for Passover. It's Seder, not going to make it to Passover. Eh, mm. Oh, my goodness. That's really. Man. That is just. How delicious. Nice, good, strong, really coffee. Oh. The deeper meaning of Hineni is, God, I am here, answering your call. Mm -hmm. Now you're good. Mm -hmm. No coffee beard right now. I, mm -hmm. Berta, what do we have here? Uh, apple and cinnamon. Oh, that looks good. It's like a preserve. Oh, it's a and preserve. It's like, maybe yeah. like a that would go butter? really good on these biscotti. Ah. Uh, I bet they thought of that. No already. sugar added. Aunt Berta's fruit spreads are created by a community of business, business in a community business in the Golan. We source hand-picked premium fruits from local Galilee farms, where the soil is considered one of the world's most fertile and nutrient-rich. We then bring our harvest to our factory in the Golan, where it undergoes an advanced cooking process developed to ensure that the fruit retains their natural goodness and nutrition. Oh no, you didn't open that too. Oh, yeah, I did, I did. Oh my goodness, and it's so pretty. It does smell mine. Well, you can keep yours if you want. Oh, that smells Where's my so spoon? Good. I told you you needed a spoon. You need a spoon. Oh, that smells so good. Yeah, that's gonna look, oh, look pretty it. on the shelf. Ooh. It's thick. Uh-huh, I didn't expect that. Ooh, it has little pieces of apple in it. <laughs> Well, I think Ezra is going to be very oh. happy. Oh, it's really sweet. When he finds that's out. That's really good. And just the right amount of cinnamon. Oh. Yeah, because you can get too much or too little. I keep saying everything's fantastic. But Since 1963. Isn't that when you were born? 100%. No, I was born in 1964. Let's be clear. Okay. Wow, that was incredible. Oh, yeah. Such good stuff. You know what? And I love the fact that they're there. They're working with their hands. They are tilling the soil. They're working the land. And, oh, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, one more cup of coffee for the soul. <laughs> I, um, I love it. Okay, I can definitely partake of this. So I'm really happy with that oh. one. Oh. I do use all of our coffees. Oh, that smells coffee. good. Do you smell? You can smell a little bit. You can smell outside. through the bag. You can smell it. Oh, oh, that smells really fresh. That smells great. And something in a little bag. And it just says Hineni. Okay. Oh, it's a candle. A little candle. Let's see what the card says. Must be beeswax. I don't know. All right. Oh, Hineni asks you to be present. Hineni, 
asks you to pay attention to the voice calling to you from above. Hineni is a guy is guiding you to your divine purpose. Oh, how nice! How That's wonderful! Sweet. The book of Proverbs describes a man's soul as the candle of God. With this olive oil candle, okay, not beeswax. Olive oil. Well, that makes sense. It left a little oil on the paper. Yeah. Um, with the olive oil candle, we invite you to gaze upon the candle's flame, focus on the word Hineni, and pray that we may increase God's light in the world. Before you sit quietly as the candle burns, you can listen to the song, Return to the Land of Your Soul, that can be heard with your QR code, and there's a little QR code on the back. Um, where am I? <laughs> Included here, or any song that inspires you, we invite you to share your personal Hineni experience with us. I'll take a picture of that QR code and put it on the screen. Yeah, that's what Just take a picture with your but camera that's... and you will be able to hear the song. That's really with nice. Us. They're setting a time for you to actually take time out of your busy schedule and right. just to... to focus and hear focus. God. Focus. Yes. Center yourself. People call Very it different good. things. But that's awesome. But we know it's listening, <coughs> listening for the instruction of God. Okay, well, what do we have here? The day you arrived in the world is the day that God needed you to be here. I love that. So many people forget that they are so important right. to everybody else. They don't they don't realize yeah. how important they are and how important you are on this earth. For this earth to function at its fullest needs you to be here. So for the rest of us, please stay on the earth. What do we have? Oh, this one's exciting. The cooler. Pink Lady, Passion Fruit, and Rum. Oh, my. Oh, my. Well, that is awesome. So, I guess this was Hollander Traditional the Distillery. Distillery. Yeah, we'll have Established to. Established in 1930. 1930. Wow, that was before Israel became a nation. Yeah. Again. So we'll have to, we'll have to look that up. And we have That's awesome. Thank you. We have a card. I, I should open this card. and have a little time. Oh, look at it. It kind of sits here. Oh, how oh, so you oh. put your flame here. It's like a little, your little candle. Where's the candle? Yeah, here's my candle. Oh, yeah. All right. And you got it? Yeah. All right. Yeah. So we put our little candle right here. I'll put that. And we see the burning bush here where God spoke to Moses. And it says, return to the land of your soul. The spirit of man is a lamp of the Lord. Proverbs 20, 27. So let me just go back up here. We'll put it right here. Yeah, very good. That's nice. That's nice. All righty. Well, and that comes to the end of our, end of our line. Um, oh, I always love the book. Look at that. Yes, and that's precious. A gentleman making that must be bread. the attorney. Could it be that? Oh yeah. So I can like make. Oh, I just really a... like it though. I mean, I've baked stuff before, and I'm like, well, God didn't call you to be a baker. Yeah, I know He didn't. So whenever God called him to be a baker, He said He named me, and now He's in Israel doing. It. Doing his bakery things. Cool. Well, okay, so Aww, there's an cool. article about the Hollander family tree. And um, that's the, the distiller. Yeah, the distillery. So these are all very interesting. So we'll have to go through and read them, read their stories, find out. But see, when you read the stories mm -hmm. that are in these books, you find out the passion. And each one of these said, hey, Nani, because they're in the land of Israel. Mm -hmm. They're in the land of Israel. And in Deuteronomy, it says that God is going to gather his people back to Israel. And these people have heard and said, hey, Nani, and have returned. Iced tea. Hard icy. Oh, so that's what this yeah. is for. <laughs> Let's have some. I need some ice tea. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Anyway, so we want to thank you guys so much. Thank you. For sharing our love hot coffee, coffee cake. cake. Oh. 
I'm <sighs> drinking it. I don't know if I could waste it in cake. <laughs> but thank you for watching. Thank Let you. Alarm. Not watching Love Home, watching us unbox our Love Home Alarm subscription, and we hope you subscribe. And yeah, and we again, I love it. Love it. We we love Israel, the people of Israel, the God of Israel, and this is our way of contributing to um, their their plight and their call in their lives. So. And it's always quality products. Always. You know, it's not yes. like they just went to like the Dollar Tree and they're filling a box. Yes. You, which no. Is, well, no, you know, not, you, nothing made in China. Yeah. Well, that's, <laughs> that's not what I mean, Mom. Well, everything at Dollar Tree is from China. But you know, they're they're real. Yes. High quality. It's just yes. high quality and um, very usable. And so I, yeah, it's exciting. We're, I get excited every time. Yeah. Love the food. Love Holland's on the porch. Let's go. <laughs> well, deliver the box. Has been delivered on the porch. I yeah. You got it. Yeah. You get it. I didn't know. Sometimes I say only. All right. Well, words. thanks for watching, <laughs> and uh, we will be back next month when we get our next box. Uh, yes. Make sure you like and subscribe, and follow us for more fun things. Yes. And yes. we love you. You guys have a wonderful week. Be and, encouraged. Yes. And if we don't see you on our Love Pile on subscription before Passover. Have a wonderful Passover. Bye-bye.